The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Or so a scholar in the mountains had told him. Surely the weapon that banished the lost gods could defeat the Emperor. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Emperor had brought the Sky Ripper pieces up out of ancient burial by his obscene rituals. Could this be where the Iblis Stone was hidden? Someone better get it before he does, thought Renardo. On the other hand, his old friend Lepino needed rescuing. Lepino was no game changer, but could Renardo really leave an old friend to the Ravens? And hello everyone, my name is Terry Prism, and welcome back to Stories, The Path of Destinies. Last uh, episode we finished up uh, story number 10, Falking the Cat. And now, let's see how Reynardo's uh, story would go if we chose different path this time. And I think... Uh, I was originally thinking that maybe go with uh, building the Sky Ripper, but I think uh, we better go and uh, fa actually I want to see what uh, this new recently opened up, up path offers to us. So let's uh, go there. Find the temple. The rebellion was out of time and Reynardo needed a game changer. A mysterious temple had risen out of a uh, desert. The Emperor has sent his ravens to search for the Ibli Stone. The ancient artifact may contain the power to bring down the Empire. The island was windswept desert. No one went there except ostriches and ostrich hunters. The Iblis Stone. It sounded ominous. It sounded powerful. If the Emperor was searching for it, it must be dangerous. And so, Bernardo went ostrich hunting. It's a uh, dangerous or powerful. Could be either one of those. Or valuable. Every child could sing verses about the Sky Ripper, but ancient codices held hints of other things. A stone that ate souls, a ruby that drank blood, a jewel only a righteous man could give away. Were all these things the Iblis Stone? Long that, hidden uh, in the buried that sounds temple, ominous. another ancient item that was only resurfacing now, drawn up from the deeps by the Emperor's horrific rituals. Let's see, plenty of ores. We should uh, soon be able to build another uh, sword. At least I hope so. Anything else here? Nope, nothing. Can we actually make something? Mm, not... Uh, not Hero's Sword. We could make a Winter Thorn if we can find so, some more extra butter essence. And the same goes for Firestorm. But uh, with fire essence instead. So let's just continue. Renato distrusted doors that opened automatically, especially after being buried for millennia. Was this some sort of trap? I hope not. And I still can't get over it how beautiful these uh, surroundings are. And we got some ravens. Frustration. They were still searching for a way in. Good. Then he hadn't come too late. Oh, spin to win. 
That's strange achievement well, there. It wasn't <laughs> his fault. They look so breakable. <laughs> oh, there was altar. I completely missed that, uh, but let's see what can I get uh, that could be useful. Hmm. Maybe go with the uh, true sword. That could come in handy in a pinch. And then uh, get the uh, attack reflexes. To. I didn't want to use it, I wanted to break these. Is that lava down there? That's quite a dangerous place to build a temple. Block and uh, finish him off. Shield guy down, you go. Get him. Block and attack, attack, attack. Block, block, strike. Oh no, that was too close. Already ran out of new more than he ever had. But about what? That that was fun. <laughs> Next, uh, there's uh, hmm. Well, more of these areas here. Let's open up this uh, chest here. And yeah. We don't have a right sword for that door yet. Hmm. Maybe there's something in this uh, over here. Nothing that I can actually see. So let's just go through this uh, main door. And let's hook up there. <laughs> that uh, narrator uh, with that uh, Wii just uh, seems a uh, little bit too silly. And we still Yes, we have a right uh, sword for this. And that opens up a uh, route to this uh, treasure chest here. Oh, nice amount of essences. And we got a new game too. There was this uh, build uh, workshop area here. We can uh, equip that game. And it's this uh, elemental resistance. And can we now make anything? Still missing some essences. We didn't get enough uh, from that chest. Let's see where this uh, one leads us. Well, only How one way. To More inside. Even exist. The Transcendent Emperor had destroyed all the shrines of the Lost Gods after exiling them. Had it been buried in that long ago battle? Or had Iblis foreseen his fate and hidden it from his enemy? Possible... Uh, that sounds a possible one. Mm, what's the word? It's not solution, but possible... Uh, reasoning behind it I I think maybe um, let's get with the true sword faster 
you shall not pass. <laughs> Freaking uh, Lord of the Rings reference there. Throw him and grab. Take him. Didn't want to throw him all, all the way over there. Block. Strike, 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 strike. Get him down. Strike, grab, and throw. Whew. That was fun. And now, avoiding traps. Oh, that was a little bit too close. Oh. Well, I would, couldn't avoid every one of them. Luckily, it didn't hurt. The too ravens much. at least could not get past this point. Obviously, the temple builders knew how to deal with tomb raiders. Yeah, it's uh, he apparent. wasn't that good yet. <laughs> Also, this uh, this uh, just re keeps reminding me of uh, that uh, staircase in Diablo 3. There was that uh, where we were descending in the uh, hell, I think, uh, that had similar looking stair. Although it had a uh, middle part here, if I remember correctly. There was an engraving. Maximum capacity, 130 people. And there is only one people now, so we shouldn't have anything to worry about. Now let's see how we get through this. I guess if we activate this... Yes. Can we read? I wanted to try to reach uh, that uh, from here. Oh well. I should be able to get that one. And I jumped right into that fireball. There we go. And we are almost at the end. Now, how much further we have? And really, who builds uh, temples in uh, places with uh, flowing uh, lava? Is that the? Uh, it was a that stone must be what we of the purest looking for. blackness. It reflected no light, like a void made solid. Nervous, he picked it up. Yeah, this is not ominous at Who all. said that? It was the stone, eager, thirsty. That seemed tempting <laughs> and terribly wrong. Yeah, I agree there. Zenobia was the Emperor's greatest general and a potent witch. But they had been close once. And Renato wasn't sure he really wanted to be Emperor. Why and, not uh, capture the core of Sky Ripper <laughs> instead? Wrong. It was the eye of a lost god torn out by the transcendent Emperor to power his greatest weapon. Put the core, said the stone hmm? anxiously. It is afraid of that core? Interesting. But... Yeah. I'm not uh, listening to what uh, that uh, stone is saying. I'll go after that uh, core. Even though I'm uh, curious to see this uh, story branch, but... Uh, I think the uh, best choice is to go with the... Uh, to get this uh, core. So, even without the armature, the core had power. The Iblis Stone, it promised a great power in exchange for the blood of Zenobia, who was once close to Reynardo. But could Reynardo really kill Zenobia, even if uh, she was uh, Emperor's greatest general? Maybe Reynardo could uh, instead uh, get the Skyripper's core, 
Stone did not seem to like the idea at all. Was it afraid of the power of the core? Most likely it is. The stone bothered him. He hated being told what to do. Wasn't that why he joined the rebellion? Wasn't that why he'd refused to be a soldier? He'd agreed to come on board only if he could freelance. The stone felt a bit clingy. The sage it's Calaveras a... had told him where to find the Sky Ripper, a weapon capable of challenging the gods. Even without its armature, the core would still possess great power. He would go there. That uh, stone uh, doesn't feel clingy, it uh, feels ominous. I really hope I'm uh, not going to regret uh, coming uh, to this uh, story path. The moment he landed the Farfarer, Renardo had a rare feeling of regret. It's not too late, he thought. He could turn around and sail for Zenobia's island. He frowned. Wait nope. a minute. He didn't want to kill Zenobia, did he? Sure, technically she was the enemy, but they'd been at sword food school together. Yeah, and uh, they had a little it, bit of somehow history. Somehow, they'd been closer. She would told him every secret about herself, except the biggest one, that she was the Emperor's daughter. No, no, that's true, dude. Whispered the stone. Before it's too late. <laughs> that uh, sound, it just gives me the creeps. Is there anything in this side here? I think uh, that's where we need to go. Considering there is no return point there for us, so let's see what's uh, in actually. That might be actually where we need to go. Hmm. You couldn't find high quality ore like this just anywhere. Should just we anywhere explore that other with chests? Yeah, I think uh, we better uh, check out uh, what's uh, over here instead first, and then uh, go over that uh, thing. Ah, Zenobia. Now that he knew she still loved him, he <laughs> wanted to go back to her. But that hadn't worked out, had it? Not really. Maybe it was time to find the core of the sky. Level. And that's what we're actually going to or trying to do here and jump down well Geronimo so where are we now looks like well of course it looks like some uh, kind of gate We can uh, jump down there, there was but something maybe he, uh, sour in the something. air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. Hmm. And just the. Uh, oh, there's even fire at this. I was expecting only ores from that chest. And what's. Yeah, I'd hate to fall from here. I really wonder, is this uh, actually bottomless? Uh, if uh, you fall down here, you fall forever. Or is there actually some kind of bottom over there? Hmm. Where did that go to? Oh no, 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 no. You're not going to trap me. And I'm not going to. Up there, and you're going down now. And I lost my bomb for some reason. Still, it was perfect. I wonder what the, the stone uh, hadn't lied about what it could do for him. With each raven he cut down, he felt a jolt of power flowing into his arm. Whispered the stone. The core will kill you. you. I don't think so. Afraid of it? <laughs> no, don't be ridiculous. It chuckled. But, but, but it's unstable. 
<laughs> yeah, you don't. Bernardo did not trust rocks that talked in his head. And you he sound uh, nervous when uh, talking about that uh, or so it's uh, certainly not uh, safe for you. And I know why I missed uh, up that boat there. Just uh, they need to strike uh, fast enough. Bernardo felt new powers ready to blossom within him, or <laughs> something. Yeah, at least much uh, more realer powers than uh, this stone could give us. There's that core. As he approached it up. the core, the stone became hysterical. He had a sudden yeah, you don't of want plunging that. his gauntlet into the core and dying in anguish. That wasn't his vision, was it? The stone had sent him its darkest fears, hadn't it? He had a sudden impulse yeah, to do I think exactly so too. that. He raised his right fist and plunged it into the core. There was a rush of light. He thought he could hear the stone screaming. And then he passed out. When Renato came to, the core was gone. Wait, what? But the Iblis stone was no longer black, but glowing with a blue light. And it was silent. I can't hear you, he sang out. <laughs> you who? It didn't answer. Ha, he said. He had defeated the demonic gem with the power of his mind. Oh, he felt and a little bit of help from It was that time boar. to attack the Imperial outpost on the Nexus. Take the battle to the enemy. But among the huge crystals, there was also an observatory. Hmm. A wise man would probably ask the scientists exactly what he had first. Hmm. How wise was he? And I think uh, this is a good place to end this episode. I will be seeing you ne on next one. Goodbye!